Einstein der Haas Effekt. The existence of an intrinsic angular momentum or spin similar to that of a gyroscope is classically not conceivable for point-like electrons. In various experiments, however, the spin of the electron can be visualized and demonstrated as macroscopic angular momentum. One such experiment was carried out in 1915 by Albert Einstein and van der Johannes de Haas. The experiment demonstrates that the electron spin behaves like an angular momentum, not only mathematically, but also macroscopically. To observe the einstein de Haas effect, a cylinder of a ferromagnetic material suspended from a rotating thread is used. A small mirror is attached to the thread above the cylinder. A laser beam is directed at this mirror and reflected to a distant wall as a light pointer. If the cylinder rotates, the mirror also rotates and the reflection of the laser on the wall moves. The ferromagnetic cylinder is placed inside a solenoid coil. At the beginning, no current flows through the solenoid coil. Then, a current of 1 amp is applied to the coil so that a magnetic field is created inside and the ferromagnetic cylinder is magnetized. After switching on the current, one observes that the laser reflex moves along the wall because the cylinder rotates slowly. Explanation and Interpretation since the arrangement within the coil is rotationally symmetrical, the magnetic field cannot exert any torque on the cylindrical ferromagnetic core. The rotation of the rod must therefore be related to the change in magnetization of the ferromagnetic core. For further explanation, let us assume that current is already flowing through the coil and we reverse the direction of the current and thus demagnetization. Microscopically, the change in magnetization is linked to a reversal of the magnetic moments mu z of the electrons from mu z to minus mu z. The total change in the magnetic moment of the cylinder then results in delta mu cylinder equals the sum from 1 to n delta mu z equals n times 2 times mu z. Accordingly, the macroscopic change in the angular momentum of the cylinder, measured with the filament and light pointer, can be written as the sum of the changes in atomic angular momentum. Delta L cylinder equals the sum from 1 to n. Delta LZ equals n times 2 times LZ. The following is measured for the macroscopic sample. Delta mu cylinder divided by delta L cylinder equals mu z divided by l z equals e over m. Considering the relationship between magnetic moment and angular momentum, vector mu equals minus g e over 2m vector l equals gamma vector l with the gyromagnetic ratio of magnetic moment and angular momentum, gamma equals the absolute value of the vector of mu over the absolute value of the vector of L yields gamma equals the absolute value of the vector of mu over the absolute value of the vector of L equals mu z over L z equals E over m or g equals 2 as is the case with pure spin magnetism. Result from the observed rotation of the cylinder and the conservation of angular momentum, it can be concluded that the spin of the electrons behaves like an angular momentum and can also be illustrated as such. The change in the total spin of the electrons during magnetization translates into a microscopic rotation of the ferromagnetic cylinder. In addition, the measurement described can provide information about the gyromagnetic ratio of a sample, i.e. the relative contribution of spin and orbital angular momentum.